So I need to take it so fucking bad. It was my first time using porta potty, and then like it was leaving EDC. I could not hold it anymore. At the the last bathroom, I took a, shit. and then luckily there was toilet paper. But then like I looked that's, around. That's lucky. Yeah, that yeah you're very lucky. lucky. I, I, was lucky like, I was like, I was like, I was like squatting that. Shit. Like, oh my god, dude. You know, there's a terminology for when you're rolling and you nip poo poo. It's called blasting. What? Yeah. Why? Is it because you sh- like you? Yeah. Like, don't you like 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 it's like it's like when you're like rolling and like. It's like enhances it or something. Like something like that. Yeah, like yeah, you're, that's what I heard. you're releasing. Yeah. Oh. So like I don't know when someone told me like if you need to poop while you're rolling, it's called blasting, and it, it does enhance it a little bit. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard. Because you're you're like digesting the stuff. So yeah. Really? Yeah. Ba, 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 Welcome ba. to the episode of Let's Talk Tea. Tea. Hi everyone. All right, so Hi. we just got back from EDC, guys. It's a crazy three four day bender. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. It is the culmination of the biggest degenerates. Actually, you know what? I'm going to rephrase this because EDC is a culmination of ravers. With our group, our, a lot of people, I don't want to say this in like a braggy way. We, our group is pretty massive. Yeah, for sure. And no, for so sure. it's yeah. the culmination of all the different cliques and all the different friend groups it's we're merging one. into one. Yeah. And the degeneracy that occurs on that weekend, I swear to God, if you hit the church the next weekend, you'd blow up. You'd just yeah. burst into flames once you hit that I door. I've seen this TikTok that was like this guy was talking, talking about API month. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, so we have this celebration in May called EDC. Oh, <laughs> you know, my like, God. Well, collectively, as Asians, like we have this one day to celebrate. Or this there are a lot of Asians that go to of EDC. Course. Yeah. I think the whole raving thing and why it's catered to Asian people is due to the fact that most Asian people grow up with strict parents. Yeah, so that's what they right. go down that so path, like, raving, the, like just going crazy. It's like right? the Amish, where yeah. they they get that one fucking. That one. <laughs> <laughs> like like, that one you yeah. know where they go on like that leave where they can use like. Oh, so you ever heard of that? In the Amish culture, I forget what it's called. They they get about a, I think it's like a month or a little longer like than a free month time? of time to go and indulge in all the worldly. Dude, the Amish culture is fucked up. Up, yeah. anything, everything. anything and everything. Oh wow. And most of the time, wait, they have to have a month to do that. I don't know if it's a month or a month or like six months. Me, I'm I'm not too sure with the Amish culture, but yeah, it's um, crazy like that. Well, I mean, Asians are not like the Amish, but they're just yeah. more strict parents. With but, but but that just reminded me. Okay, so another thing that we could celebrate for API is like rave trains. Okay, so obviously, I think everybody, even uh, me being Asian, aside from everybody being Asian, they have encountered an Asian train. Yeah. It's a stereotype. What is an Asian train? Okay, so basically, what, okay, so what it is is that it's mostly within like you know eighteen to twenty year olds who are new to raving and they go in to raise. They like, hold hands and they hold, oh, no, they go into no, but it's 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 really nice because they keep the culture of plural alive. So they go into raves with like mm-hmm. groups like 15, 20 and they're all hanging on to each other, walking through the crowd. Yes. but like as a somebody who's attending the event, it might come off as annoying, but yeah. they keep plural alive. Yeah. I don't have a problem with... Here's the thing. I Now that you explain what they are, mm. we've been in them in festivals. Oh, for sure. And oh, so it, now... I mean, not to like, sound like Kev, snobby. Have you been? Not to sound snobby, but majority of the time we're in VIP or... It's pretty... Or, or Skydeck or something. Skydeck, Wait, yeah. really? Yeah. Where the f*** was I? No. Shit. <laughs> he drinks his tea. Drink tea. <laughs> well, it's I true. Mean, sorry, I mean, sorry. Like, I don't want to sound... When sorry. I used to... Okay, so when we used to... When we... When I... my fir- Okay, so my first time going to EDC, I didn't do any kind of a VIP or Skydeck or anything, and it was general admission. For the, just the experience. Just the experience. Yeah. And I mean, now... I mean, that was years... I think that was 20... I think that was... Was that, 20 was that after they banned it from LA, or was it... After they banned it from LA, okay, okay. when, so it, was when in, it was uh, first in, coming to Vegas. Yeah, in Vegas, yeah. So I went pretty early on, and like I was, I don't rave that much anymore, but I was going to like Nocturnal, Escape, right? all those yeah. different ones, and I hit them all in the same year. Yeah, yeah. once you start, you want to go to all you, these. You want to keep going, right. and it's a good culture. So yeah. when you encounter those trains like that, I'm not going to lie, even at Coachella, there are, if you're with a group and there's a ton of people, you're going to be holding on to of the course, next person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna so whenever I encounter that, I think of like, okay, if that was me and we were with the same like it's I all, wish I had somebody yeah. it, it leading through that at crowd. At the end of the day, it is all about safety. I know it may come off very annoying to like other people. Yes, but yeah. to everybody out there, you should just yeah. chill. Like, like stay with your group and stuff because like um 
for example, in Ultra, there was like, a group of girls that went to Ultra Miami, and like maybe like ten. I think uh, when they came back to Cali, like four of them went missing because human trafficking is a very big deal in Miami. Yeah. 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 So That's there was a group of like so I think it was like a group of Asians. Yeah. So so three or four of them got like kidnapped and stuff. It's a very, so it's very serious it's very, thing. It's a very serious thing. So even the buddy though, system yeah, is very, very serious. serious. Number as a huge yeah. rule. Even though it festivals. comes off very annoying to other people. The Asian yeah. train, I know it may come off annoying, but honestly, realistically, they're just trying to be safe. They're trying to be with their group. It's really hard to get service. It's really hard to yeah. find your friends. So obviously, they're hanging on to each other. There's always a friend so that gets lost. Don't, Wait, so, don't yeah, hate what, on the Asian train, guys. How, how do you fit into the stereo? Like, which which per, which stereotype are you? Are you the guy that gets lost? Are you the... No, I am the kind of... So for me, at least, uh -huh. I like staying with the group, but don't get me wrong. Are you if, a runner? If I'm with some, if I'm with another, okay, tell you a story. All right, go ahead. I was with a gentleman. I can't I can't disclose his name okay, because of who to. he is. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know him. Okay. It's. Let's Somebody just say he's a DJ. Okay, cool. Yeah. Big yeah, DJ. Yeah. Big DJ. I know. Okay. Him. Okay. Yeah. Let's just say yeah. we're at Coachella. Yeah. Right. Motherfucker. He's like, all right, let's, let's go to the bathroom real quick. Right. Go to the bathroom. Too long a line. First thing he says. Isn't that a poop story? No. Said, okay. Good. No, I don't do that. I, I saw your and poop story. So basically, so it's like, like, okay, let's want to go down and go on a like, side mission. Yeah. I am down <clears throat> to do that. And we walked all of Coachella. Basically, walked all of all the way just to get to the VIP area. Yeah. Walked all of Coachella. I'm down for that. I'm down if I know somebody and like they're down. Hey, like I'm down to like and like just go and do your own thing for a second. For a second, just go on a little Coachella side mission. That's cool. Yeah. I love, but don't get me wrong. Always stay with the group. But yeah. if there's a moment where you have the chance to wander with somebody you know, those course, are the yeah, most... As long it's as, so fun. As long as you... Yeah, I agree with as that. Long yeah. As long as you so fun. wander with someone that's a part of the group and you're not... I, I cannot stand somebody that runs off oh, by no, no, themselves no, 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 no. and then just so fucking... No, you because like, you're worrying about yeah. that friend. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do fucking do, do that. that. Don't be that guy. If you want to go explore or the festival, please take somebody with you that's a part of the group. Because at the end of the day, at least you have someone that's coherent that can get a hold of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's not... Don't do that. Just don't do don't that. that. If you're going to go off and you're going to be like adventurous, you want to be that type of person, Make go, sure you with bring somebody. Somebody. Yes. go with somebody. Go with somebody. somebody. Why are you looking like that? Because he's a runner. He's are one you of the, a runner? He's why, one are you, the, why? Why do you fucking not surprise me as a runner uh, no it doesn't surprise <laughs> me either it really doesn't Damn surprise it, me Alex? yeah he's a type to be a roly-poly and just go on a fucking bender i'm here for a good time not a long time yeah. yeah but at the end of the day it's like at the end of the day the Your anxiety that, the anxiety that hits me for example i have like super high anxiety in general if i, I know anxiety, somebody yeah. is like the, the where i go to is like oh my god like if i know that they're on something or something like that yeah, you, i'm worried about, about them what's yes. happening mm -hmm. to them they may be having a great time but but in my head, it's, it's, it's nice not. that see people like you is, you know, a good part of the group. So realistically, with raving experience, I always somehow end up being the rave mom, which is totally right. fine, which is totally okay. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to have a good time. Mm -hmm. But one thing I can't stand is the runners. Why? Oh, it's so funny. It's like, I mean, I try to stray away from like groups of like, like ten max. Mm -hmm. But like, if there is a runner, then right. shit, like. You know, Shout but out. yeah, because the whole night you're like you're trying to enjoy your night, but then you're worried about this. Like, do worry exactly. Ah, blah, 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 blah. That's the, does yeah. you definitely want to stay with your group, and if you have the urge if you to the do urge it, to explore, go make sure with somebody. You bring somebody. Just yes. bring somebody. Like if, it, if it, like if you, for example, if you wanted to go when somewhere, else? and he told yeah. me, let's go. It. Yeah, let's go. Right. We'll meet up at a certain spot. Yeah. Well, we'll what, what, what by the Ferris wheel. <laughs> well, what what happens is like I just I'm like walking, 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 and then I look back for a second. I look back, and everyone's gone. Yeah, that's so I know, lost. but the importance of like even okay, I get it. Like you know, we're doing things. Totems, that are totems not, are important too. Go, important. go, go for, for it, go for it. Well, well, heavy though. No, I go mean, for, go for, go for, go for. Finish your, finish your point. Go oh, for it. You. Yeah. It's more in a sense that like, you know we're not in the right state of mind, so oh, yeah. it's very important to hang on to somebody that might be a little bit more coherent as you. Yeah. Yeah. So, regardless of not you're enjoying the event, just make sure you're hanging on to somebody that is there because there's. Thousands of people there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can get lost. There's no reception. Yeah. You know, and it can be very dangerous. I would take this episode as a take the knowledge from it. Yeah, safety precaution. Take yeah, the yeah. precaution from it. I'd rather people benefit from the. If we can get it out yeah. earlier, I'd rather people benefit from the lessons and the precautions of people who have done it a lot of times because yeah. sure, there are a lot of people who watch this and like, ah, that's 
fucking everybody knows that common yeah, sense right. common sense ain't so fucking common it's, it's really not. not yeah and it's just like don't be a runner if you're gonna do drugs drink a lot of fucking water Stay Don't hydrated. Be afraid. I've had a friend die yeah. of dehydration yes, that's on Molly. Possible. It's 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 happened. It's very, yeah. It happens. It's not like it's like and there's always those people who are like it's not Don't, gonna happen don't to be me. afraid of asking for help. Yeah. And Narcan is available. Make sure you guys are very safe. There's nothing wrong with party favors. Yeah. There's be nothing careful. Wrong with be safe. That's exactly. all that Exactly. That's all it is. You could have a good time and still be safe. There's at the a same huge time. fentanyl epidemic right now. Oh yeah, totally. So, it's like it, everybody always thinks like, oh I got oh, this I got or this, this or I got this. Or that. Yeah. No. Doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Always be safe and always stick with your people. If you want to wander during an event, make sure you ask a friend. Ask your friends a friend. are there for you for a reason. Do That's not run point. off alone. You're literally in the middle of like fucking how much fee is EDC like Two thousand feet. Oh, it's 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 on multiple acres, and you're around like four hundred thousand people. Four hundred thousand people there that attend that actually with no service. Oh so no, it's like make sure if you're gonna go out to an event, bring somebody. Absolutely, and it's okay. Mm. If you need to use the restroom, ask your friend to go with you. The bu- it's, it's, it just goes down know. to the buddy system. It's the buddy system. That's what it you is. You never know. Just and be careful. Another thing too. So back to totems. Totems can be heavy, but they do make. Totems. I have a really good totem okay, story. Okay, I think it's uh, I think it's Hello Totem. Hello. Oh what? yeah, Hello yeah, totem. yeah. I think, um, is that okay. Josh's, Josh's brand. Josh's yeah, company. Yeah. So great is like a very skinny totem. It's like yeah. LED lights, everything. Yeah. Oh so shit. Great, story. great thing. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Totems help. They're they're amazing. But go ahead. Okay, so as a female, usually we don't carry the totems, of course. The men do. Yeah, right. men. Do. Of course. So, I mean, sorry, not sound like braggy or anything, but there was mm. this one time, um, one of my best friends, she was like, called me, and I was violently hungover, and she goes, hey, we're going to Apocalypse. Violently hungover? I was violently hungover. She goes, hey, we're going to Apocalypse. Okay. It's like a whole, like, base, like, you know, EDM fest, two-day festival, whatever. Right. I'm like, what do you mean? I had just woken up. It was like 2 p.m. She's like, I bought you a ticket. You have two hours to get ready. 2 p.m.? Dude, half the day's gone. It's, I'm lunar-powered, guys. Sorry. I'm not a fan of the sun. I'm a vampire. It's okay. Yeah. We all but, are. So she calls me. I get ready. And then we buy a whole handle of Casamigos, right? Jesus. And oh, you know, my God. You saw my oh story, Oh, my right? God. You saw my story? I know this story. You saw my story? I know this story. Woman and Sam, shout out to me. So I have a scar from that day. Mm-hmm. I'll rewind. But so you know how people have been like putting alcohol like in pouches to sneak it in? Yeah. People have been getting caught with it a lot. Really? Like a lot, a lot. Yeah. So I... I Within the last year, I did go to like a few like EDM concerts and like raves and stuff. People have been like getting their sh- jacked. Like, yeah, the whole pouches and everything. They'll pat them down, they'll fill it, take it, right? So I was like, you know what? Instead of pouching it, let's go to Party City, get a pinata and a stick. So what I did, she's oh, driving, shit. right? Mm-hmm. I have a whole handle of Casamigos. Alcohol at raves are so expensive. Dude, two shots can run you like 60 bucks. Yes. Dude, no joke. No, no, for real. Yeah, right. like, and that's like with, even without Chaser. So, you know, me being big brain, I'm like, yo, we're not going to buy alcohol there. Because, you know, I didn't want to do any like, party favor. Like, let's just drink and like chill, right? So we get the handle. And then Apocalypse was at the Queen Mary in Long Beach. Right. Mm-hmm. So it happened to be right next door to Party City. Mm-hmm. It's like perfect. Amazing. Right next to Party City was Home Depot. Oh, my God. So this is why I did. I was like, cool. We're going to go to Party City. We're going to get a pinata and a stick. I'm going to wrap the bottle around the stick and then get the pinata and cover it. So smart. But the thing is, obviously, you need tools to make this shit, right? That shit's going to be heavy, bro. Obviously. So this is during, like, winter time. And she's driving. I'm like, you're good? I was like, as a homegirl, I was like, I will handle everything. You just drive. I will handle everything. We go to Party City, we get the pinata. It was an Olaf pinata. Um, we'll insert a photo later. But it was an Olaf pinata. And then the stick that I used was like a, a stick they used to beat the pinata. So we go to Home Depot. I buy duct tape. I buy a box cutter. And I was like, okay, obviously to balance out the weight, you know, um, in terms of physics, you have to have something to fill it in. Mm-hmm. It was Christmas time and they had like decorative snow fluff. Right. Like for housing. I was like, dude, perfect. I bought a bag of that. Cut open the pinata, wrapped the Casamigo bo- uh, bottle around it, and then stuffed it up with the stuffing. So me and my homegirl were like dressed as schoolgirls, like walking to this Oh my god, event. I remember how you were dressed too. Yeah, we walk into this base event, mm-hmm. and we're just carrying Ola. Yeah, we're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bam. Sneak it in. We get in. I'm like stomping the sh- 
out of Olaf, and we bam, we pop out a whole bottle. Everyone around is like, dude, that's so smart. Yeah, but dude. I feel like. Do you, you want to take a snowman? shot? Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to take, oh, oh, you wanna take you a, a shot? shot? Oh, that, that was good. Huh. Oh, yeah. So you opened the. Sh- sh- I'll, I'll insert a video later. Um, the, the shot yada. Yeah, so usually, like, when it comes to events with group settings, mm-hmm. bathrooms are so important in Raving. Oh, my that God. I'll so know. So important. I learned that a lot. Sh- in the porta potty? Yes, I have. So I went GA for many moons. I mean, Wild everyone's low. been GA before. Yeah, yes, yeah. nobody's. That's like nobody's. But like, like the GA restrooms are. I'm not disgusting. buying VIP or. No, I don't really. I don't want to say. I don't buy it anymore. But yeah. I'm not. You know, we don't. I don't get VIP because of the VIP status. It's not even about that. It's not even. I have no no. And I, to be honest with you, Coachella, there is no point in buying VIP. There other really than is, the, right? other than the bathrooms, there is no point. Coachella is different though because it's not really a rave. It's like more of a music festival. VIP at raves yeah, VIP and Sky Deck at raves. Yeah. Totally, totally different. different spectrum, yeah. I took, I went to the bathroom at a rave and those porta potties in, in the general admission, bro. I was like, woof. I was like, that shit was horrible. Those memes you see, the f- it's, it's just, not a joke. Like, it's, dude, it's, it's so fucked. disgusting. That's like, it's nasty, when it comes bro. to raving, I need VIP due to the fact that they have regular restrooms. Yeah, you want to be remember the one most time I was leaving so i need to take it so f-ing bad it was my first time using porta potty and then like it was leaving edc i could not hold it anymore at the the last f-ing bathroom i took a shit. and then luckily there was f-ing toilet paper but then like i looked that's, around that's lucky that yeah it's very lucky, lucky. I, I, was lucky like, I was like i was like i was like squatting that shit. like oh my god dude you know there's a terminology from when you're rolling and you nip poo poo it's called blasting what yeah. why is it because you sh- like you yeah like, don't you like 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 it's like it's like when you're like rolling and like it's like it's enhances like, it or like, something something like that yeah like yeah that's what i heard you're releasing yeah oh. so like i don't know when someone told me like if you need to poop while you're rolling it's called blasting and it, it does enhance it a little bit really yeah that's what i heard because you're, you're like digesting the stuff so yeah really yeah but yeah so back to what you're saying um when it comes to raving i think VIP is important due to the restrooms, not because of the yeah. Crowd. If like, you I have not, a little bit of, I will go to the pit if I need to. Yeah, but I think sanitary. Me being very like germophobic, sanitary issues are very. If you important. have a little bit of extra money, like, and you're yeah. okay with spending it, spending it, get I would VIP spend it. just for the restrooms. Um, but if you can't afford VIP, um, I think it's different for if like. If you men can't and women. afford VIP, what I would tell you to do is go to an area that's obviously less crowded. Oh, so if you know if somebody's DJing in, in one area, let's say Kinetic Field is the place to be, you I would use the bathroom at the opposite stage. Yeah. You know, don't go to the bathroom. That's the closest bathroom because everybody's gonna. Fucking but be there. I mean, luckily. For, Wait, have for you seen that fucking video? This guy just like piss in the middle of the crowd. No. I've seen some crazy shit like that, but I've seen luckily sex. for men, like. Yeah. You guys can just like, you know, just whip, whip it, it out, out and just pee. Yeah. So women, if you guys are raving, there's this thing on Amazon that's like a cone. So you can yeah. so you don't have to sit on the Oh my body. god, really? Yeah. A cone? Like a so, a siphon? No, no. So basically, um I saw a video about it and it's like girls who rave and stuff. It's like a piece of paper that opens that's like a cup. So it funnels your piss. So you oh, it's a funnel. Down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. So you just put it under yeah, your yeah. You just like hold hoo-ha? it. Right yeah. Oh, for the porta potties. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so okay, okay, thing okay. Is, obviously, we have to squat. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, let's say you're you're pretty fucked up and like you you can't like keep squatting. Right, you know, right. You sit down, you're tired. So yeah, um, there's options for that on Amazon. So they started taking that into more procedure because wow. porta potties are really, really, really dirty. Yeah, mind but, you, like when events rent porta potties, it's not just for the event. They recycle them for more events and like over and over again. You know what I mean? So it's not like one time use. I didn't know that actually. It's a whole what? company, yeah. Like oh, like okay. That. But like, but they do they clean it? I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty what? sure they right afterwards, it. right? But like porta potties, yeah, 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 yeah. like as a company. How do you even clean a porta oh, potty? Okay. Oh, okay. I'll tell you how you clean it because okay. I, um, I, I have them. I, I hire porta potty companies for um, televisions. Right, right. So they ha- they actually have to be pumped out. Uh huh. They're pumped out, cleaned, and then refilled. Okay. So like the there some of them have water in there for sinks and stuff like that. The nice ones, but they're pumped cleaned and refilled that's how they work so all of those yeah so every one that's there i highly doubt that they like sprayed it in like sanitized it every day after edc who knows i could be wrong somebody please if you know this answer 
after EDC, like the first day to EDC and the last day, I doubt that they pump all of the restrooms. Maybe they do. I could be Dude, totally there wrong. There was this one time I was like, I think I was on the way back home to San Diego and like I had to use a restroom, but like they only had porta potties. But it was the day that shit was getting pumped out. Dude, the smell. It's terrible. Was so bad. Like, I'm not like, if somebody throws up in front of me, I won't, I don't have that phobia. I don't know the phobia of her. Right. But, the smell was so fucking bad to the point where like, oh, I was like, I need terrible. to get the fuck out of here. Like, it was so... So, let me ask you guys a question. Yeah. For EDC, how long do you stay? What do you mean? Not like, like the like, days. I'm talking about like at, after the go. event. I okay. would say I would try to leave, obviously, before... I mean, people rate to five, which is totally fine. You should leave before the traffic. Yeah, before traffic. Um, yeah. I would cap it maybe latest, like, 3.30. Because there's so much to do in Vegas. And there's I only see. after parties. See, that's the thing. is like with me, I think I would go in at like five or six or four or five in the afternoon and then that's get, early. get... Is that early? Hell early. early. Is that early? That's so yeah. early, yeah. I don't, I don't go until it's like nighttime and then I leave at like, so like 3 a.m. what if we did like... I would think... I would always do because the thing is, is I love... I would go clubbing in Vegas. Uh-huh. Right, So yeah. it's like... And I clubs would are open to like four. Right. Wait, yeah. so like, like... Wait, you go that early and then what time do you leave? If I were to go, I'd probably leave at like 11 or 12. 11 or 12? Oh, so the, you, the good but, DJs don't even go on until that time. Yeah, so I leave after so the first you, good DJs. So you go to manage your time so you can make it to clubbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind I of. Oh, oh, well, is that what you do? I go to manage my time so I can make it to clubs and the after parties. Because I can go to clubs, but yeah, don't get me wrong. After, after the clubs, we're going to somebody's room or we're going to an after party. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah okay. So I kind of want to fit in everything in that weekend because there's so much to do in Vegas. And there's a lot that doesn't take me away from just wanting to go to Vegas. Mm-hmm. No, okay. yeah, yeah. You know sure. what I mean? There's so many things. I mean, Vegas doesn't sleep. So it's like, even if you do leave EDC at uh, et cetera time, like, even if you do leave at 5 a.m., there's so many things to do. But I see what you're saying with the whole after party thing. There's so many after parties. Damn, so that hair things. flip when you said that shit, though. The other thing is, too, is guess what? After the after parties, a huge thing. Alex, anybody who knows me, a huge thing that I'm about when I party. The only reason why you can continue partying like this. You don't sleep. S- no. Oh. Sleep is a huge oh, thing. Oh, you do me. sleep. I no, s- yeah, I am actually, not. yeah. This guy always. I'm the biggest. Bitch if we go somewhere, if I we go somewhere, sleep. we won't be sleeping. No, but he, he would, would be. Yeah. And right. then that's a couple that's hours good. later, he come like. Oh, but that's a how but you that's, guys a, doing? that's a great <laughs> thing to do. You need you your know, sleep to function. That's I, really good. I have to do it because and, like, it's like you have your own. Um, like I have my set of rules. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, last time we were in Vegas, you got torched. Can we can we answer a photo? Is that okay? Can, can I answer your photo? Yeah, of course we yeah, can. I have a photo of that. Um, okay. The previous Vegas Hopefully trip. that's not going to happen is again. The, is it the, the, the IV, the IV yeah. one. Yo! So, okay, a little, little side story. IV, a little yeah. side story here. I go to Vegas um, a couple weeks ago. And it was fun. It was for a bachelor party. I kind of only spent one day with the, with, the, with the bachelor party. They were great. Um, and... I had asked Sibo uh, a couple weeks ahead of time. I went, I went out, I pr- I, prior I went out with a friend. A friend came with me and he kept me, cut me the whole way. I was like, thank God somebody came with me. And so but that they, was great. They all ended up mobbing there anyways. Everybody yeah. ended up mobbing down to Vegas. Alex and Sibo and everybody, everybody that came yeah. down. And it was like, it was, it was insane. It was, it was debauchery because the, the week, the day they came down was a, was a, Sad. Saturday. Dude, Saturday. you guys were there like on weekdays. We, yeah, so, you guys just uh, stayed there Saturday, a, Sunday, Monday. Exa- a friend of mine and I flew out Thursday because I was like, hey. Oh, geez, you were there for a while. I was there since Thursday. Oh, so shit. I was like, okay, let's fly out because the big thing I love to do in Vegas too is when you go to Vegas enough, you want to start just eating there. Eating. The food, food is amazing. Is amazing yeah. in Vegas. A sober Vegas trip, everybody, is probably impossible mm, 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 but mm. the best thing ever i mean yeah. so when i mean sober i mean like you're not going out till four mm-hmm. like you end the night at two and you wake up and you do everything in the it, that a is normal to do in Vegas. samaritan Vegas yes trip. so we mm. went out thursday and you know what the crazy thing is is that the day we went out on thursday was the day we got the most f-ed up and we were up the latest this is how i know i was like this is like, like I mean, my boy my boy group, is like you know I, damn well with the group you're not going to sleep at two dude it was so yeah, funny like, because we, we had a great time it was a great oh, time yeah, just me and my time, boy we had a great time i lost a ton of money he was winning a he was winning money he was like basically any, anytime he would win i'd be like can i, can I have some money <laughs> <laughs> and share the wealth and, and so that happened so friday came around drank again by the time these guys came out i was like uh uh, I was not having it. I was like, oh my God, Sibo and Alex are coming. I got to get it together. 
that night. Well, you're really good at keeping a good feed. Dude, we, <laughs> had, was good. we had no hairspray. <laughs> we had no hairspray. We had no hairspray. Wait, wait, wait. Where did you guys stay? We st- so are, are Okay, you? I made are a dumb part? move here. So I go and I should have... Hairspray is so important because every hotel I've been to, except for the wind, they provide hairspray. You spray. know what? I'm an idiot. I should have just bought hairspray at the Aria. Yeah, they have a gift shop. Oh, my God. Yeah, years by hairspray. I was using my boy's hairspray, and it was, like, this big. Yeah, like, travel size. Yeah. So, by the time... I know, of course. He brought it for him, yeah. and he was being very nice and shared it. I mean, you guys are there for a few days. It'll last you. It'll last you. I know. No, it, so I'm saying it'll last one person. Are you person. more of a hairspray person or Joe? Um, I am Wait, hold big. On. That's... I'm hairspray a big, or gel? I'm a big hairspray person. Is it, isn't it wax or gel? Um, or, no, there's pomade, there's pomade, gel, there's gel hairspray. Wax. Wait, well, isn't hairspray the end product? But here's the thing, though. A lot of know. the time, when I don't want to do my hair, I will do it with water and hairspray. There you go. Water yeah. and hairspray? It's okay. like the, the cut it short way. Because mm-hmm. like pomade takes more effort and like gel does too. This is pomade? Yeah. This is pomade and hairspray. If I wanted to just do hairspray, I could make it look the exact same. It just won't but last just, as long. It just won't last yeah. as long. Yeah. Due you to the go, consistency. Yeah. And then it just won't changes. last. It or won't if I want to go for like a wavy look or it's like a natural look, yeah. I'll go with water, boom, let it dry out, and then just shoot hairspray. Hairspray, over yeah. It. Mm. I could function on just hairspray. Yeah. For sure, for sure. I'm not going to tell you what my favorite brand is. I want to know. Because but I want to see one. if you can guess. It's, the, it's everybody's favorite brand if they use Trust it. Trust me? Boom. It's cheap. Tresemme it is works. the fucking move, dude. The, the four. Tresemme number four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tresemme, Tresemme number Tresemme four. Hairspray number four is the always The smell is here. amazing too. Boom. But if you're open to trying a new one, um, you know the one, the, the Aussie brand? Yes. That one smells amazing. And Very it's good, good too? Food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no shit. Okay, I'm going to try that one. Do not use L'Oreal. That no? one leaves like a shitty ass film on your hair. Dude. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, put, I spray tons of f***ing hairspray and the Tresemme, they also have an ultra fine mist. I can vouch for that. It's... It's amazing. Trust me, if you're watching this, <laughs> shout out to you guys. Yes, for real. And I'm going to try the Aussie one, but... Aussie, okay. The reason... Okay. I think I lean towards products that just smell fucking good. Like, I love a good I'm product. big on that. You know what's funny? Rain. The amount of... I think we talked about fragrances in the last yeah, one. Yeah, I love... I have an aftershave good. that's not an aftershave. It's like a spray from mm-hmm. Old Spice. Mm-hmm. It's like a boot. I, I put that on. I put lotion on. I put... Fucking and I then, find that very attractive in a man. Someone who smells fucking. I love to smell fuck. good. Here's the other thing too. Big secret here. It's not really a big secret. If you want your hair, if you want your hair to smell good and your cologne to last longer, put it in your hair. Oh, for sure. Put it in your hair. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for I sure. I mean, as a woman, I, I spray in my hair. So basically, if you want to, sp- if you want your cologne, another thing that I use too is a little trick that I use, and this is also known about. I just don't know if a lot of people do it. I carry. Um, in my, I have like a go bag. I carry that coconut. It's like a cocoa flavor Vaseline. Because mm. I put. Va- oh, you put a bomb on and then your cologne. Yes, yeah, because because yeah, yeah the Vaseline with the cologne like yeah, it lasts it longer, it last right? Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I have in my bag, for example, an oil based perfume because mm-hmm. the oil what makes it stick to the skin more. Yes. So when it's alcohol based, it wears off more. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Then also a little tip here: if you put, I put Vaseline on my lips every single morning, no Good. matter if it's windy season. We don't season, want a crusty man. Whatever the f- mm. it is. Never ever will have chap lips ever again. That's one of my ex. Chap that, lips, yeah. Chap that's my thing. It's like you. Nobody wants a crusty lip. Nobody wants a fucking. Like if I'm lip. talking to somebody and they got like crusty lips, I'm like, I would like go in my bag and like put on chest. I'm like, oh, do you want some? <laughs> Here. Even though, even though I don't. <laughs> <have> <laughs> fucking drawing. <laughs> Welcome to Disney Channel. I'm like, Welcome to Disney Channel. I'm like, <laughs> even if I don't need it. Uh huh. Oh, same thing for example for like gum. Gum yeah. is the same shit. If someone's breast smells. Uh, at least you're like, a little nicer than I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, if it's my homie, I'm like, hey, breath's hot. You gotta. I, I'd be nice about it because I don't want to embarrass the other person, especially if it's a girl. No, I tell them. So I, tell I would them, just say, I'll, come, I'll, I'll eat one. I'm like, do you want some? Oh my God. I am so unfiltered. It's pretty bad. But I, I'd like that because it's like, it's what okay, you see is what you get. There's not enough unfiltered people in this It's like, world. it's what you see is what you it get though, it bro. It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to like, real, don't okay. sugarcoat that shit. Yeah. It's like, but. Um, Wait, they prescribe? Oh, no. never mind. You know what? You don't look bad. Thanks. You look good with those. That's good. Yeah, I got nothing to say. Look good. <coughs> yeah, it looks, it looks good when you have glasses on and you just don't talk. It makes you look like you know oh my something, God. but like you really don't. Like, no. same mysterious. But then when he opens his mouth, like, oh shit. It he's just blind. That. What is that? What is that saying? What is that saying? He's not smart. He's just blind. <laughs> Better to be thought of as a fool and not say anything than to speak and remove all doubt. <laughs> oh my. You're not a what? Fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said what? Yeah. Damn. I'm just kidding. God. Are you sure? 
No. <laughs> Anyways, do you guys have any um like crazy rave experiences stories? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you want to go first? Or want me to go first? Rock paper scissors. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and let him go first. <laughs> no. Uh, so <laughs> okay, I guess it's I'll not like a there. crazy rave experience. I just saw somebody having sex on the rave floor. On the raving floor. On the pit. I've seen right in front of you. Floor, yeah. Right there. Oh damn. When the lights come on, I've seen condoms on the floor. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's not really, like, crazy. It's, like, actually... What do you mean by lights come on? I don't like, know. So, for example, in San Diego, they have OMFG. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, like, indoor event. Okay, that's pretty dark. You could, like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can get it done. I'm, like, yeah, but... So disgusting. I mean, sorry, not to judge anybody, mm-hmm. but, like, damn, y'all couldn't wait. Just, do you go home? Back to your hotel? You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, if you can't wait, if you can't wait, like, okay. I'm a weirdo. Yeah, a weirdo. I've had a crazy story a hard summer last year. Um, mm-hmm. basically, what happened was I was with my best friend, and then I think it was like a group of four or five. Someone sabotaged our group, but like, they claimed they got lost, which happened to be my ex. So, I, me being me, I'm like, cool, you can just stay with us. So they ended up popping like, like, a lot, and then they like purposely like try to OD during my favorite set for Skrillex. Purposely? What? Yeah. Just to like piss me off. Yeah, just wow. to ruin my name. So that's crazy for That's cr- wow. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. I- I'm uh-huh. listening. Yeah. Go ahead. It's not a friend. It's just Oh, oh it's, just Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they did that on uh-huh. purpose. Um so and then when you go to the Metan, you're only allowed to have one person walk you in. Mm-hmm. So it obviously it was me. Uh-huh. And then we had the rest of the group. I said, hey, just wait outside for a minute. I'll be back in like five. But then it was like my friend's um, like first time, I think a hard summer, I'm not sure, but uh, she ends up having a panic attack. And then I'm like sitting there with the other person in the med tent. Bam, I look up, the whole group is in the med tent. And I'm like the most sober everybody. I'm like looking, I'm like, dude, you guys had one job just to stay outside. Right. So we missed entire set of Skrillex. I was oh, really man. pissed off at that, but yeah. But that's what I'm saying, just stay safe. But I was like really like, there's no way this is happening. One thing, mommy, I I have not ended up in a medicine because everybody watching, listen to this. You can always take more. You can never take less. Drink water. Yeah, that's a great saying. Say that one more. Time. You can drink always, water. Drink water. Stay hydrated, but you can always <laughs> take more. You can never take less. Yeah. Don't wait, catch on, up wait, if you can't keep. Give me a second. Let me process that. Don't catch up if you can't. You could drink more, but you can can't drink less. No, don't take more. Oh, don't take more. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no. <laughs> it looks smarter. It actually makes you look more dumb. <laughs> Wait, okay. You can't take more. You, you can, can always take less. No, no, no. You no. can never. Oh my gosh. Heaven, did you get that? Yeah, he needs a lot of. Okay. God. I have hearing problems. You have a lot of other problems in hearing. Anyway. Okay, wait. What was it? Listen, Say it wait, one more time. Sh- let me talk. So. The water got my way. Anyways, repeating what I said. You can always take more. You can never take less. Do not rush yourself in the process of being at an event. Don't try to catch up on anyone else around you. Everyone's tolerance is different. Yeah. Bars, baby. It's true. I mean, it's it is great. true. Yeah. So just be careful. There's nothing wrong with being lightweight. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Don't. There's nothing wrong with being a lightweight person because there's people who like try to like match other people's like vibe and like oh, yeah. I want to catch up to them yeah. because you know they're more. Fucking me whatever but like there's nothing wrong with being lightweight like just keep at your own pace don't pressure your friends don't pressure your friends make sure you understand your own tolerance to things yeah. and don't try to catch up with anyone else's because like, everyone is different it. like don't cause a fucking scene don't yeah. be that guy don't if be that nobody guy nobody wants to do don't it don't be that don't. guy that ruins it for everybody else don't know your own tolerance please and know your role yeah. if, if no be a friend if your friend says no then no. That's cool. That's Do okay. your own thing. No don't doesn't care. always mean yes, okay? Yeah, no peer pressure. It's like, yeah. bro, just be a just be a friend. Just like, I'd rather cool. have people like who know their own tolerance with me and like even if like let's say for example I'm more fucked up than them and they're not as fucked up, that's totally fine. As long as they're having fun, that's all that matters. You don't need to catch up to the other person to have fun. It all matters within how you're feeling at the festival. Right. Do not compare yourself to anybody else. Everyone right. is different. Yeah. Yeah. It's Amen, true. sister. <laughs> What's up, brother? What's up, brother? <laughs> um, what was it? So, I mean, I guess, you know what? Else? That's my only gripe. I think this goes like a little bit back earlier to what we were talking about. It's kind of different, though. My gripe, my only gripe about EDC is 
how they gouge the fuck out of you with prices. It's like Coachella. Here's my thing. Two different festivals. That's two of the top knows festivals. What he's doing, trying to see. Look, for example, I was trying to buy a. You know how some events sell one day tickets. Yeah. You see, there's no such thing. No. You have to buy all three. You yeah. Why? Because he wants to capitalize on the people mm-hmm. buying that five to six hundred dollar ticket, make sure that every ticket costs that much. On top of that, there's resale, etc. Whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Other events, there's like one day passes, whatever. One but day pass. You have to buy all three in order to go. Yes. Remember when EDC that that one year after uh, COVID, there was like selling like three day less than a hundred bucks. Yeah, what? I remember. Yeah, that was a thing. That was a thing. I remember that. that was like, uh, twenty when EDC just came back. Oh, it was like really that first year really after it came back. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went yeah. that year. I went one day, but I got my ticket for free. But other people got the ticket for really cheap. Yeah, because I think wow. people were so fear COVID at the time. Right. But like. For me, I was like, fuck it, you ball, you know? Like, yeah. I'm good. Damn. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, though. Yeah, I remember one time I went to sure. I went to uh, EDC. Well, I snuck in. Oh, you snuck in? For free, <laughs> pretty, pretty much, right? So remember the question? Question? I'm hypothetically yeah. debating on going to EDC. Hypothetically? Hypothetically. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, so like, I, like what I was saying, right? For, for me, what, what happened was this one year, I, I pulled a suicide mission, right? To go to EDC, I, I drove there. For the, one the, day? The, I, I tried to sneak into EDC, right? Like, I had the wristband for, like, last year and everything. I tried to go in and then, like, trying to, trying to find somebody to just tip and everything. But I got scared. And then, like, after a while, somebody, like, caught on. They, they came to me. Like, hey. Only because I'm filming with you. Like, they're like, what the fuck is this? Too, like, what are you doing here? Let me see your wristband. And I was like, oh. So, so they, wait, t- wait, they so took my wristband. Did you, did you go with a group or were you by yourself? I was with just one other friend. Like, it was suicide, suicide, right? And then, like, so what ended up happening, you know how vendors usually, like, they have extra tickets or at, after the event, like, they try to sell the ticket for, for extra profit? Mm-hmm. So then I saw some vendors, like, trying to sell the ticket. I was like, okay, I'll buy it from you. You got scammed? No, no I scammed them. Oh. But, uh, but <laughs> he said Uno reverse card. Yeah, yeah. Uno, bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, I'll like that. And then, so yeah, so... Yeah. yeah. So what happened was that. like, oh, actually, oh, now that I remember, it. okay. So, so the plan for me was like, okay, I was gonna buy the wristband and then call Vemo later, like, oh, oh, we're fraud. Like, we're fraud. Yeah, 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 which actually worked, like, like it worked. But then, don't tell all the secrets on camera. You can't. No, right. No, I'm, and that's cool. I, 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 this doesn't work anymore. Anyway, but, no, it doesn't work at all. Yeah, it yeah. never happened. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Allegedly, 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 okay. allegedly. But anyways, yeah. Allegedly, don't. don't think, yeah. Don't I, I try to sneak. So like, my friend got in, but then me, they're like, "Oh, this wristband is really loose." So they took it from me, and I was like, "What?" Yeah. So they actually they, they took because it because it was loose. They're like, they're like, "Oh, it's kind of like they thought that it was fake, right?" So then, but that's that's not even a valid excuse. I don't know. I was kind of. I don't, I don't know. I was, Were you like fucked up when you were in? Life? I don't think I was. Up, but I might have nah, been nervous. Up, uh, I don't know. I might, I might have been fed up. But, <laughs> but anyways, like they took it, and I was like, wait, what the fuck? My friend is in there. What am I gonna do? Right. And then as I was leaving, I saw this area, like this wide open space, and then it was kind of sus though, because at the end there were some police cars there, just sitting there with like the sirens they on. on later, right? they, yeah. no, they just, they were just parked there. So I was like, you know what? Okay, if I get caught, I get caught. If not. Hell yeah, baby. So then there were two fences. I hopped the first one. In between, there's like a, like a fucking, like a fucking football field. It was like, it was like, so you ran in? I ran in and then I hopped the other one. Okay. And then I saw the police. They were like, good thing they were like blocked by like this little building. And that's how I got into EDC 2020, 2019. So, I'm just shocked because that was the most coherent story I've heard in the last yeah. two episodes. Thank God you got it out. You got you it out are, in, in words. And I, Alex, you're, you're amazing. progressing. He's you're doing, amazing. Wow. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing I've been great. taking lessons. God, I, I love it. I love Actually, it. Actually, on the topic. So I had a friend that snuck into Hard Summer cheers, um, last year. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Sorry. Tea time. Mm-mm. 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 Okay, so okay. On, on that topic. So... Going back to last year, hot summer, I had a friend that he had a ticket, but the thing is, he wanted to bring Nas into the event. Yeah. So he had a caddy like in his backpack. So he's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna sneak in. He hops the fence. Yeah. And gets tackled by like three security, and then they grab him like, 
All right, cough it up. I'll let you in. He's having cash. So they put him in. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm so distracted Wait, they by to the. Paid off. Yeah, I'm so yeah, distracted yeah, yeah. by with your glasses and the piercings. It's kind of crazy. How come Ness can't tell a story without yeah, you getting interrupted? Oh, sh- I'm interrupting her all the time, and she's not even noticing it. <laughs> I notice it, but I try to continue and like tune him out. I know you. You know do. he's like, he's like that toddler that just keeps like talking and like they're learning words slowly and you kind of. This like is them raw out. and it's live and it's yeah. okay. Yes. But Tyler, Go thank ahead. you for engaging in my conversation. Yes. No, I am too. Ugh, the stank face from that was a. He has a uh, selective hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, and where were you though? I couldn't even yeah, remember. So. Fuck. Anyways, I wanted to wear my glasses, but I'm not going to because he's so distracted by that. Anyways, rewind. So, he breaks... Okay. Realistically, I've tipped in somewhere. Mm-hmm. I've paid off security before. Oh, God, I have many times. Yeah, many times. <laughs> Who hasn't, right? So, yeah. in that situation... I still do. <laughs> yeah, right, I still yeah. do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, just pay I mean, t- dude, they don't get fucking paid enough, right? They don't. You They're know what, honestly... They're wage to, like, do security. That is true. Little side note, a, a slick... 20, Dude, 20 that, bucks. Dude, that 50 bucks will help them. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Even, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm saying 20 bucks. If you're, on, if you're inside already, a slick 20 bucks, they'll walk you to the bathroom. They will walk you. Yeah. And they'll walk you to the bathroom. They'll, they'll take care of you. They'll let you cut the gate. They'll let you cut the gate. Yeah. That, that tip Wait, will really the help them. Goes far. But, but what you could tip is like, you act like you're giving 100, but you're giving once. No. I mean, I'm not a dick like that, no, but whatever. That's, that's how I used Anyways, to do it before. I mean, a lot of people have done that before. They give. I know someone that gave. No, I. I honestly. I give them actual money. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I tip in. I. I'm gonna say this for all the nightlife fuckers out there. First of all, I tip in twenties and I tip in hundreds. Look there for him. There is no fucking way. Look for him, dude. Well, do anything you know what, below twenties you know stands, yeah. stands for anybody. Tip stands for to ensure promptness. Oh. Okay, to oh. ensure promptness. Okay, when you tip somebody, if you're getting tipped, don't tip. And I'm just. I'm, this doesn't go back to the ones. I'm just saying this in general. Uh-huh. If you unless, tip you, somebody, unless you're a stripper. No. Yeah, yeah, unless you're a stripper. If you tip somebody, at least get a fucking 20 out. If you ain't no, got yeah. that much Anything money, Anything below get that is not just even don't, about, just yeah. don't, don't need okay. to be no it's five a, it's in It's a one. valet, or it's, and it's a valet, sure, like five, ten bucks. Whatever, Whatever, yeah. bro. Yeah. But if you're tipping security, or you're trying to do something, you're trying to get in somewhere, you're looking in the you're 20s You're looking for 20s and 100s. That's what I'm saying. Nothing below that. Get a hundred bill. Most of the time, a hundred dollar bill will get you into whatever you need to. It got me backstage at Zed. Yeah. Okay, it'd be, like, it'd be like that sometimes, and that's okay. Yeah. That's okay for me. That's okay because you know why? You're going to an event. I'm not saying this because you have the money to spend. I'm saying you're going to an event, an event with the intention of spending money. Yeah. So if you just allocated a couple hundred bucks or a hundred bucks towards, hey, maybe I'm gonna have to tip somebody, or maybe I'm gonna have to. It's called greasing the hand, bro. Just grease that hand, and it works, bro. And I was it's twenty. Totally fine. Yeah. I was I was nineteen, and I was in Miami. All right. And I was trying to get into a club. Everybody else that I was with was older than me. Okay, I had twenty five bucks and my f-ing underage ID, bro. I put it right under my ID, and I thought I was gonna kick the f- out. Nope, let right in. I got let right in. It goes to show you just how much a dollar can go when you use it correctly, bro. Use it correctly, yeah. Use it correctly, bro, because that's what I'm saying. And then you'll be the coolest dude in the group. Yeah. Like, could you imagine, like, oh, I got this, I got this, whatever. And you just, yeah. tr- most people are afraid to do it. But just don't get me wrong here. When you're I at mean, a club. you don't know until you try. So no, 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 that's totally what I'm saying. Okay, and most yeah. security guards, if you encounter a security guard. You can it, tell by the look who's taking their job way too serious. Yes, mm. it's, it's yeah. like, you, you know. You can know the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, know it's like a chill ass yeah. dude. Yeah, you gotta yeah. know how to do it too. Don't hand them the fuck money you don't gotta make it the money under the phone Lit whatever under the phone, like or fold it up fold it up yeah like nice dab them up yeah mm-hmm. they already know it's already a given yeah. that's how you grease somebody by the way that's a little one-on-one here yeah. if anybody doesn't want to grease anybody you just literally dab them up, up like this like, boom bam, bam, bam and it's done like they know that, to take yeah. it they know to take it trust me all right so well going back to my story go for it um so obviously he would have tipped them but he had any cash so you offered them like zell or like venmo um, they're like, nah, dog. So they put him in hard summer jail. You know that they have that? There's a jail? You know that Insomniac, Insomniac Events has jail for um, people who try to sneak in and you get caught. What the fuck? There's jail for all Insomniac Events. If you get caught um, trying to sneak in or doing some dumb shit, they'll put you in Insomniac jail. So my friend, he had a ticket, but he was trying to bring some stuff in that he couldn't. Um, security was like, all right, pay up if you want to get in. He didn't have any cash, whatever. So, um, what had happened was he got into um, Hard Summer Joe. 
And then he breaks out of the jail. He broke out? Yeah. So going back to my story in the med tent, I'm sitting with my friend, whatever. And I see him and he goes, hey, you guys good? Wait. He pops out of nowhere. Did you get like a mug shot when you go to jail? So this is what happened. If you're in insomniac jail, you just have to sit there the whole time. But if you break out, then basically what happened is like, they caught him breaking out, took his photo, and now he's banned from like all insomniac events. Wait, but oh if you sit there, God. like you could come back the next day? Uh, technically, yes, but it was day two already. I wonder what insomniac jail is It's like. just a bunch of chairs in a tent. It's really nothing. And it's just a bunch of like people who try to sneak in and got caught. Wait, so how do you... If you, if you if The you metro fucking, police probably comes and picks him up. If, metro, you, uh, if you sneak metro out, Vegas how police. would they know who you are? If you get what out, you it's the same way. It's the same thing. Like, you know, no, like cameras like, or whatever. No, what, like, what's going there's, on? There's no cameras. Like you're in insomniac jail, and you just make a run for it through the door. But yeah. how do they know like how you, who you are, how you look like? By because your, they remember and what you're, how you're dressed yeah. and everything. Yeah. Because and but then, when you come back how, next day looking like. But the thing so, is, it was day two. So it was already the second day. Okay, no, but like what? I guess. Let's I, say it was day one. I guess I'm confused. Like if they come back to like another event, are they gonna get banned still, or like it's it's it's? I don't know the whole process for that. It but they did. They did run like take pictures of him and be like, "You're banned from all the Sony events." I don't know how they run that shit. I'm pretty sure it was just like a bluff. But mm. realistically, yeah, that's what happened. Oh. Yeah. So interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, they, all they these people, all these people stealing phones to go to insomniac jail. No, seriously, yeah. Um, yeah. So every insomniac event uh, has a jail for people who do dumb shit or try to break in and get caught. How come it's not on the map? Like right, the insomniac it's map. Jail for Why the, the f- would they have insomniac jail on the map of an <laughs> event? Do you want to go there and go talk to them? I'm done talking because I'm really interrupted. That's one of my pet peeves. When I'm talking and someone interrupts me, I'm sorry, I it? will always give someone the time to talk. I'm sorry. You know why? I'm because sorry. I think conversation is very sacred. Yes. If someone's talking to me, my attention is gravitated toward them. Yes. If I have an interrupter, if I have an interrupter, for example, right? I'm not saying any names. My thumb is doing its own thing right now. No. But realistically, yes. Re- realistically, realistically <laughs> it's like when i have someone interrupt me i think it's very rude because you know why at boy. that point i don't it's only one i don't want to repeat myself no you know why i'm done with the conversation <clears throat> you know Take why like, hypothetically go. somebody would interrupt you hmm. you just did it again anyways <laughs> oh ness i mean it's, i mean ness you're in ness jail mother- yeah ness <sighs> hell ness hell it's not jail that's You're in Alex than hell. <laughs> it's worse than John. So Netflix is a joke was a thing recently in um I think it was like Hollywood, it was like a big stadium, whatever. Super like big thing with Netflix. Comedians. Yeah. It's like a, is it a whole month or like the- Um Netflix is a joke. I You might know a lot about this. Yeah, yeah right. I mean in I do in, in the industry, I work very yeah. closely with Netflix yeah. and I believe I don't want to be wrong about this because it would be so bad. It would be so bad because I I work really closely with them. I think Netflix is a joke is a, is a series of of different comedians. Yeah, um, and they yeah, I had some like friends a, that attended. It's yeah, like a Met Gala of uh, like a Met Gala of comedians. Of all and the they, comedians, they, they, they do the, the it's like a thing. It's like a, it's like there's a bunch of comedians in it involved in it. I don't want to be wrong. Like props to comedians because it takes a lot to be a stand up comedian, stand in front of a bunch of people and make them laugh. Right. Ready? Who's your favorite? Oh. Okay, probably Joe Coy or Cat Williams. Okay, I'll take that. Right now, I love what's his name, Jeff Aku Rai Reed. Acoustic autism. His name's Jeff, right? My name's Jeff. Oh my god. And then here, it's Kev will put up like his handle and everything. But like, like Thanks. Jeff, I think he's fucking hilarious because like he has a like, really good crowd work. I, I kind of question I your humor, two. to be honest. It's be Dave I, I, I kinda, really? Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle and really, Kevin Hart. Okay, yeah. Um, Wait, do you feel like... Well, I mean, would you consider Key and Peele comedians, right? Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Right? Key and Peele, Peele for so good. sure yeah, yeah. comedians. Key and Peele, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's probably my... Joe Coy. Yo, Joe Coy is funny. Joe Coy is yeah. so funny. Da- I would say Dave is probably like... Dave, Dave Chappelle, is, he's like like goaded. Yeah, he's, he's goaded because yeah. he's like old-time comedian. Yeah, yeah. Like, Dave, Dave is shit. like... He is unbeatable. Yeah. Like, I can't... I'm sorry. Like He hits every time he goes. Yeah. There's also Kevin Hart. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Hart. Kevin Hart's really good. Yeah. Kevin's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people, like I hear from other people, like they feel like Kevin Hart is overrated. Like he's not that. I think well, I think older topic. Kevin Hart is better yeah. than newer Kevin. Right, because okay, he's yeah. very Hollywood as of right now. He's like, very Hollywood. Yeah. I think old. I think Dave Chappelle has stayed consistent. consistent yeah. Mm-hmm. And actually, I think he's gotten a little funnier since the whole 
since I mean, since he, Dave Chappelle's gone through a lot, and Dave Chappelle kind of had the Hollywood awakening, and has been like, whoa, what the, f-? and I think he's become a little funnier since then. But Joe Coy, since Joe Coy had, his, I think Joe Coy's big break was that one he did a comedy I think it was his Netflix special dude yeah Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh it was amazing that's how I found out about Joe Koi it was amazing because like I think well not to be like biased or anything but he does do like Asian humor so like it's it's very like relatable you know what's crazy is I was he's like really relatable in that sense go ahead no you're good you're good what was crazy was I watched that Netflix special with my family and of course, they know I hang out with a ton of Asians. Uh huh. Right. I'm Literally, like any like like ninety nine point nine percent of my friends. You know why I love Tyler? Because all... he's he's our token Italian. Like he's every <laughs> Asian you. group has that one token person, and yeah. you are our token. It's it's yeah. like there's always one, guy, but it's like for anybody who knows, there are I mean literally ninety nine point nine percent of my friends are all of some sort of Asian yeah. descent. Mm-hmm. So my family was watching it, and I was like, I mean, I get the humor. Because mm-hmm. I've no, because you're up. around it. I, Honestly, you are Asian by association. Oh God. So you, you know how many times I hear honorary. <laughs> that's like, I don't care. You're I love it. Me. No, you're I me. thank you. I, yeah. I appreciate it because it's a. It's, and that's why they have it's a, a great Italian culture to be associated with. Asian fusion restaurants because of you, Tyler. Thanks, dude. Ed and Ed was like we used to say kimchi and carbonara. Kimchi uh, and carbonara. Yo, kimchi, bro, kimchi really, and carbonara, kimchi carbonara, bro. That's it. Yum. And. I'm, Basically, but the, the comedy special with Joe Coy, my family watched it, and they were genuinely laughing. They have no fucking knowledge of the Asian mm-hmm. culture or community. And it's like, I know a decent amount of multiple cultures because I've grown up with different, not as, like, in their, in their households, like, I grew up with the Filipino culture. Filipino, Chinese, and Korean, actually, and some Viet, like the, like the main Asian cultures that I was hanging around. It's yeah, Filipino, Chinese, Viet, Korean. You know what I really appreciate when someone that's not Asian that takes on um, appreciating Asian culture. Oh yeah, well it's a good. It's here's the thing: the cultures. It's it's amazing. The Asian culture is very. Um, it's so deep. It's very broad. It's very. It's, it's, it goes it's, very it's, deep, yeah, going back sure. to like generations. Oh, for sure, for sure. And, and it's I like, really appreciate when non-Asian people really, you know. Take in the culture and really well, accept it for what it is. And I think Red, the other Red, reason Red, why... Ready for this? API month, baby. It is. Yeah. And this is another thing that I get to... Uh, that I want to say is I come from... So mainly I Dude, am, Alex, sorry to interrupt you. You're good. Alex, it's like that voice in the back of your head when you're really like sleep deprived. Yeah. And like... It's like when you're seeing hallucinations. Actually, he's like a sleep paralysis demon. Sleep yeah. Paralysis demon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I was saying was... That I'm so I'm mainly actually Sicilian. I'm mainly Sicilian. Sicilian. Okay. So I am from the boot um, in Italy. So I'm from Sicily. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I am from that mainly. So southern Italy? I'm southern Italy? Italian. Right, yeah. uh-huh. I am yeah. from, that's where my family is from Sicily. And my mom is half, or at least a little portion is from northern. But I'm so, mostly southern. Question Is the accent different in northern and southern? Um, oh, so yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somewhat, yes. And the ma- southern southern Italians, if you know, I you know. You're good. If you know, you know. The southern Italians like are a, a little more. Match, <laughs> you're good. You're good. I'm here, thank and you, I'll stay thank the you course. For staying on course with me. And of course. I'm hearing you all. I'm here. I got you. I'm very coherent. This so you. basically, going. Thank back you for being me. here. Of course. There goes interrupt so me. Southern, interrupt me again. So southern Can we Italians. Do, uh, Kevin, I want you to do like tallies of how many times he interrupted me today, please. <gasps> That's gonna be a lot yeah, of tallies. Yeah, no, please, oh. um, yeah. Um, so please southern Italians are a little more. Um, they're known for. If you know, you know. They're like a little more. Are they more friendly? Would you say? No. Ooh. So they're a little less would, friendly. Would they're you say associated is with more northerners more friendly. friendly. Southern Italians are more associated with uh, like the, like the mob and stuff. Oh, like that. oh. Uh, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, that's that's so, so Sicilians yeah. and of course you know I'm not gonna get into that right now. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, all of my family, yeah. most of my family is Sicilian. Oh, so yeah. as you can tell, where that goes, it's a. I grew up with a lot of different characters in my family and a You're lot. Hot of sh- that's not okay. A that's lot okay. of different people. Yeah. So. But besides the point, what I'm trying to get at is the most important thing beyond all of that is the family aspect. The no, family, like Italian, the power of like, family. That's why, like, um, what, like, with certain Europeans, they're very no power family. <laughs> oh my god, Kevin, I'm sorry, but 
he sidetracked me. Anyways, with the certain Europeans, like even、uh, Latino culture, they're very like、um, family oriented. Yes, and that's so, why with Italians, like that's why you guys like kiss each other on the cheek, like you're hungry, like everybody eats. Like, so if that's、yeah. why with、mm-hmm. the Asian culture, culture, yeah, with the Asian culture,、uh-huh. whenever you go to an Asian household or whatever it is, and this happens across. Asian cultures,、mm-hmm. whether you're no matter what division you are, you always take off your shoes. You always take off your shoes. <laughs> the other thing is,、shoes. you always eat, and it, they're very family oriented. And I think that's what because I think they just take you in, which which is really nice because like I think、uh, food is very universal language. Oh, for no matter sure. What, what, If you're gonna no break what bread, what ethnicity you are, yeah, food brings people together. Absolutely,、mm-hmm. and like、so. even like let's say like a mom, grandma, her cooking that shit. Puts their love in that brings people together. Yes, and it's、yeah. like, and it's like, of course, it's the same thing. Like any time we were to go to any of,、um, like one guy who lives here went to his 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 mom's house, fed me immediately. Amazing hospitality, amazing person. Like, and his、yeah. mom is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I, I first time me- culture, first time meeting her, she was like, she was amazing. Yeah. She's when, just wonderful. Let's say for example, in terms of Asian Asian culture,、um, it definitely has to do not with just not ego or like pride, but like. Let's say you know, like you were to come to my place, and yeah, like and like as the parents or like the family, they want to like show off to like, yeah, we does this, you know what I'm saying? But I think that's the main driver. <laughs> I think that is the main driver. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's basically just hospitality and、mm-hmm. like the culture of just bringing people together throughout food. Need more? He doesn't need any more. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good.、Mm. If you're anemic, drink up. Oh my god! So I, I think, and、um, I, you know what? Another thing is crazy too. Yeah. Let me get your perspective on this. I'm gonna, ch- I'm gonna keep coming with these topics. Go ahead. Because it is Asian American Month, so yeah, might as well.、Um, there is a lot of,、uh, I don't want to say this. There's a lot of Asian hate out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Most definitely. definitely. You know what's crazy? Asian hate out there. For what reason though? I don't、no. get it. I don't get. I don't get it either. But. It's just America as a whole, whatever it is, what it is. But you know what's crazy is that you know, like years ago, Asian people weren't cool. Asian people, nobody wanted to date an Asian person. But、right. then now, like every week, it's like, damn, Asians are bad. Like Asians are、right. good looking. Right, right, right. I think it's everything to do with the industry. Just like how how talented be- Asian people、right. are because they have so much culture. Do you think K-pop was a big part? Definitely. Of that? Well, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, BTS yeah. definitely did、yeah. some shit. Yeah, K-pop. Does have a big part in that,、um, even like Asian food, you know. So and social media too. People started getting more woke on like Asian culture, etc. Right. But you know, America as a whole, not to be f- up, but for those flyover states,、mm-hmm. it's like they're not really aware. They're the, it's, it's yeah. Like they're so like closed fucking, off. They are so yeah, cl- yeah, yeah. so closed off. They they only they're know, stuck in their ways. Exactly. You know. So so I see that. Yes.、Yeah, oh, sorry. So that's why like. You know, with the East and the West Coast, we have the most like immigrants that came from Asia. Of course,、so、they are really. Well I mean, that's where my fam- my family immigrated to Ellis Island. Yeah. In New York. Yeah, exactly. So it's like this whole country is built on immigrants. Yeah. Although that doesn't don't get me confused with my political position. The country, <laughs> bless you. Bless you. The country is built、Ooh. on the fact that the United States housed. Many different types of people doesn't mean they should house everybody. Back to the topic,、about? there、yeah. is a lot of Asian hate out there, and I think that seeing all these videos because I follow Jackfruit and the rest of them. I think it's because、um, I'm not targeting any race, but people hate Asian people. It's like I think they're generational jealous. Generational trauma.、Uh, and they're jealous of the fact that we have so much culture. Correct. Yeah. I think that、That's、I think that other minority cultures, because I, I don't know if I necessarily see a lot of. Okay, so going to what you said, the reason why I say that is because when、yeah. Asians immigrate here, they think big because they want the American dream. So they open jewelry. I think other minority cultures、yeah. hate on Asians. They do because you know why? Because not to be like not to stereotype, but Asian people make the most money. That's true. Yeah, it's true. So when they come here, they they, they think outside the box. Like I want to open a jewelry store. They Asian, also, they the, also launch. Absolutely,、exactly. the way、so、they, it's all about、big. how you conduct what exactly. you do. Exactly.、Yeah. It's it's it's, it's about、thing. skill. Yeah. Other minority cultures, and I'm not. S- I'm not singling out any of them. No, we're not. We're and not, I'm not even、yeah. singling. I'm, I'm not saying. I mean, I'm, I'm this is saying, coming from a non-Asian person, so that's why it's factual. So that's what I'm saying. 
people hate on Asian people due to the fact that they can think outside the box and make more money than Americans nowadays. Yes. And I don't want to say this, and don't get me wrong here. I'm not just saying minority cultures. I'm not just saying that, I'm not saying white people don't do the same shit. I'm they saying, don't, but they, it, they, have to go, they have to more... go towards like the business aspect. But when immigrants come here, they're like, dude, I can open a nail salon. I can open a jewelry store. Yes. I can do skincare. I can Absolutely. do Because that's what they're skilled at. But the thing is, non-Asian people are like, getting mad at that because yes I, and i box. think that it's like oh well i don't get traded the same or you don't or, yeah. it's just like it's this whole and that's why it doesn't make any sense to me because it's like if you're all um, from a minority culture why not do the opposite and work together why don't you just help because each other out because it's, it's just think, crazy to me i think that americans are very egotistical oh f- yeah it's it's a social climbing oh, yeah, ladder yeah. thing. Sure, you want to sure. be better than another person. Mm-hmm. So in that sense, when it comes to immigrants coming to America, they're like, why the fuck do they get to free, like, make so much money when I was born here? It's, not, it's like a privilege. It's privilege, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, oh, I was born here on this land. Why the fuck they make more money than me when I'm going to school and doing right. business and doing stocks, whatever, right? But it's not their fault that they're very, very skilled in those senses because the thing is, coming from those countries, for example, Vietnam, Cambodia, whatever, Lao, they develop those skills to make money in their country. Right. So they carry on those skills when they immigrate to America. It's not that their fault that in America it makes 10 times much more money. Yeah. And I feel like, like especially like Asian, like let's say like father, like coming uh, straight from overseas, they're like back against the wall. When you get here, let's say like students, right? You get here, you, after your school, you have to find a job. Otherwise, you can sit back to where wherever you came from. Like let's say China, right? Mm-hmm. So like, because I know this from my my cousin. Like after like your student visa expires. Yeah, so it, it yeah. expires, and like you have to find a job, and they have to sponsor. I, I had a friend that got uh, deported back home to Singapore because of that, because she couldn't yeah. find a job. It was really sad. So then, yeah. like 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 I know from my cousin because she was telling me about it. Like she was like sending out like um, applications, like like a million, yeah, for months, and then like just so that she could like. Stay the hope America, is to stay here, yeah. yeah. So then, like, for them, they're, like, a back against the wall. Like, it's su- a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. Shout right? out to everyone watching. Um, if you're an American citizen, even though America's not the greatest right now, don't take it for advantage because I do have friends that, like, wish they were citizens here. So. But damn, this got deep. Well, I think I mean, that... I like deep conversations. No, I think it's better. They, they, they're very fluid. I think it's better because me. people yeah. that are watching, I think a lot of people... And this is something that I want to touch base on because I was actually going to talk to you guys about it. Yeah. But I think during some of the podcasts, I think that some episodes, I love having funny episodes and I love having great episodes. Would you have like mix? No, I would have a mix yeah, of mix. deep conversations because the reality is that people I can put are, on my AirPods and go do my whole day and listen to that. Mm-hmm. It's more, it's, I, I would, it is informative because the bottom line is, is in my, my perspective and my thought is everybody loves funny people. Cool. But, but we want to bring what people want to do is not only bring awareness, but bring your knowledge to the table. Even if somebody knows it already, everybody wants to hear some. There, if I'm, I'm very to open to other people's ideas, perspective and, perspective and ideas. On things, yeah. So I think a deep conversation. Yeah. I think things like this are important. It is right. important. Yeah. I yeah. think it's extremely important. When and, I personally yeah. listen to podcasts, I like. Okay, so you know how we do like fun stuff, whatever. Yeah. You need your eyes to be locked on the screen. Mm-hmm. So when I listen to a podcast, I put on my it's AirPods, I start po- cleaning. Yes, a yeah. podcast. Yeah. So I want to hear people talk about, you know, trending topics or yes. what's going on in the world. Exactly. So that's why I appreciate the deep conversations that we're having now. Oh, absolutely. That's even why I'm totally though, good with it. Even though it may not catch the viewer's attention, but at, for me as a listener. If you listen to a f***ing podcast, podcast, it's a podcast. It's a podcast. You're only hearing their yeah. voice. So, so for like the new viewers who who don't actually know how we started this this is actually why we started it in the beginning because we want to bring like news anything like um deeper conversations yeah topics which is good this. i mean right. i feel like as like our friend group we have so much to talk about right Absolutely. and like we have these conversations camera off and like i'd be like sp- spitting straight facts to everybody in yes. the kitchen camera yeah. off camera off camera we off. have deeper conversations than anybody that's what I'm saying. anybody else who does a podcast anybody who does that it's like we're not just here. Like on topic. We're not like... We're less friends here than we are outside, outside of here. Of, yeah. We're more friends yeah, outside of exactly, here. It's like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. The deep conversations that we have yeah. outside of here, I think it's very necessary yeah. to bring them Into inside. the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Inside for a public view. Yeah. It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's like... It's like very organic conversations. Absolutely. And that's why right now... And that's like, why I have no problem sitting here like and talking. It's natural. It feels yeah. like what we're doing 
normally. Normally, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah, do yeah, all the yeah. time. We exactly. hang out. We do this yeah. all the time. And that's why, like, whenever we are hanging out, I'm yeah. like, dude, this shit should be on a podcast. It should be. It's like, and look at us now. We're on a podcast, guys. <laughs> and, and we really Let's do appreciate tea. you guys watching. We do. Yeah, we, do. we really so do. This, Everyone, are we good? Do you yeah. want to yeah. close it out? Or are we That's good? what I was going to get to. Yeah. yeah. So we do really appreciate you I guys appreciate watching. And we wish to bring more of these kind of uh, contents, topics to you guys. Yeah. Well, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thank, thank you. Peace. Peace. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Peace. That was great. That, that was, was great. good. I like that. Yeah, that was great.